kids. I know you're probably sick and tired of watching Chloe do. Mmm. Good. Mm. For a day in the lives. So why don't you come along with me on a day of my life? Let's roll. We're about to head lights off. See that, Chloe? That's how you turn off the lights. You know? It's not really. There we go. Lights. Dark. Garage door. We're gonna head over to Wilkie's house, do a little homework, uh, go to the pool, and then I think we're going to dinner. Oh, and that reminds me, guys. Good thing I brought you guys along, because we forgot my dress shoes. Let's just, damn. Oh, here they are. Just toss these things. Boom. Not really dress shoes. They're kind of dirty. But we're going to rock with them. We're going to go out to Scottsdale. And we're going to go to a nice little dinner. You know? Because why not? Why not? Let's go. I may or may not have forgot my keys. Oh, and we're good. We're good. We are so good. Let's roll. Uh, yeah, guys, I hung up all that, and she just doesn't give me no credit for any of it. It wasn't really that hard, though, but still, come on now. Yo, we are doing something crazy. I bought rollerblades. I have been wanting to do this since I was back home, and today I texted him, I'm like, I really want to go rollerblading, and he's like, all right, found a place, and we went and bought rollerblades. I don't even know how this is going to go, I'm going to be honest. It's probably going to go terrible. So I'm gonna practice in, I'm gonna practice in my house first. But I will keep you updated. Just bought these bad boys at a sporting store down the road and we're ready to roll. Okay, I'm scared. I'm gonna have some busted up elbows and knees problems. I have them on. Going to my house. Catch this. I can do it, but I can't stop. Unless I should be, I don't know, man. It like slides, I like slide. It slows me down, but doesn't stop me. Is that normal? Maybe. I feel like I got too big of a size. I feel like I should have got the eights and not the nines, but I got the nines. Also, I made protein balls yesterday. <laughs> I'm putting them down. Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna vlog today. I vlogged like a bit yesterday when we got rollerblades. I think I'm just gonna throw that into this vlog so you can see it, but um, it's 6.58. I've been up, I got up at six. Literally, like I said, every single day I've been waking up at 6 a.m. on the die. I don't know if it's because I don't have um, curtains, so my room gets brighter, but like it's scary. Like my body's like on clockwork. It doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I go to bed about 10 o'clock every night though. Like I'm tired. Like I'm tired at 8 30, 9 every night, but um, I think it's because I'm very, I'm a lot more like active and like moving around and doing stuff since moving here rather than at home. I feel like I would sit on my computer all day and I wouldn't get as tired. Like my only movement seemed to be when I was at the gym, but here I feel like I'm just more active throughout the day, which I really, really enjoy. Like yesterday, I went on a run in the morning, I ran three miles, and then Jake and I got rollerblades. We didn't do that like a ton, but like I was moving around on them. And then we went on like a five mile bike ride, which was like 30 minutes at sunset, and it was so beautiful. Um, I should have vlogged it, but if we do it tonight, maybe I'll take you, I'll show you guys, but it's hard to vlog and bike, so I don't know. Then at seven o'clock, I got up at six, 6.30. And I'm gonna go on a run. Jake might join me, but he, I woke him up and he was like sweating. Like he's like, I don't feel great. So I don't know what's going on with that. So he might come, he might not. Um, running might be a lot if he doesn't feel good. But I'm trying to get back into a groove run like a couple miles, four times a week, maybe not every single day. Um, but like as much as I can, it's just, I have to go earlier in the day or at night just cause it's so hot. Um, but yeah, I found like a new little route yesterday that I didn't mind. I'm still kind of testing it out. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited because if Jake can start running with me, I feel a lot better about it too, just because I don't like running alone here. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get ready to go on a run and I'll take you guys through my day because today is Tuesday, September 5th. So yeah. Hi, okay, it's now it's nine o'clock. I just came home and got back from my run, ran three miles, and it was so hot, you guys. Like I did it, but I was like kind of dying after the first mile. So I need to get like a water pack and I need to get sunglasses because the, it's straight sun here. There's not very many clouds very often. And the run, the route is just like, there's no shade. And <laughs> it was hot. Um, but I, it's nine o'clock. I'm gonna go run and get some groceries because we need like cold brew, Greek yogurt, a lot of like restock stuff um, that we eat every single day. And then uh, I need to get some stuff because I wanna make a recipe today. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna hop on a call when I get home. And 
Yeah, I just want to get like all the errands and must do's done first thing in the morning because I just, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just more of a morning person. I'm more productive at the beginning of the day than I am like any other time. So I like to knock that kind of stuff out. But this is the fit. Just get these shorts. It's just these shorts I got from Aloe. They're like little boxers. And then this little tank top I got from Aloe. Um, but yeah. My face is still red from my run. So like I look like I have my really... And it looks like my makeup's like really, really dark. But like it's literally because I'm still beat red underneath. Love that for me. But okay, we're gonna go. I was gonna go to Sprouts and Walmart. But I don't think Sprouts is gonna have what I want. And the cold brew I have that I want is at Target. And they're in two different sections. Like two different parts of town. Unless there's a Walmart by the Target that I go to. Then maybe I'll do that. But I don't have to look. Okay, looked at. There's actually a Walmart kind of near this Target. So I'm gonna run to Target um, and get cold brew. And see if they have my yogurt here. And then I think the rest of the stuff I get at Walmart because it'll probably just be cheaper. Um, but I need my cold brew and I know they don't have it at Walmart. So we're getting that and then hopefully nothing else. Hopefully. So I guess everybody is drinking a lot of cologne, but it's on sale. So I'm an extra cold one today. Okay, guys, so I actually just had everything I needed here. And I don't really think it'll be that much more expensive because I got like, the brands I normally get and everything I normally get. And well, little different brands because I don't have everything, but um, stuff I've gotten before. And I don't want to go to Walmart, so I'm just going to get this. Because then I don't have to go to two places. You guys, I've been getting a lot better about only buying what's on my list. Because I actually, like, make a list now. Um, and, life hack, if you grab a little basket instead of a cart when you're at the store, you can only fit what's in your basket. And that literally left, like, marks. Because I got two cold brews, a chocolate milk, two yogurts. Like, heavy stuff. And I was carrying on my arm. But now it's 9.35 and I'm going to head home. So I'm going to be home before 10. That's great. And I'll have to go to Walmart. Because, honestly, I don't love Walmart. It kind of freaks me out a little bit sometimes, especially when I'm alone. And I don't know my Walmart's out well. And another bonus thing, I don't love this Target that much. Like, the vibes just aren't really there. Um, so I don't like to spend, like, I don't like to really browse that one. Like, the one at home in Iowa, oh, my God, I love that Target. That is, like, my, like, safe space, practically. I could spend hours in there. This one, not that vibe. They're different vibes, but it's okay. There's a haul of what I got at Target. So, tis the season, you guys. I got pumpkin, and I got some pumpkin spice to make some recipes. Um, I have a lot of the basics, but I needed that. And then I also got I also got some coconut sugar and some cocoa powder, because these are go in a lot of my recipes as well. Um, and there's a recipe I'm kind of brainstorming, thinking, and I think I need those things. And then they didn't have, like, my go-to one, so I tried a few different ones. So, actually, this looks kind of good. It was stock cold brew, but it was espresso. Um, so I was like, we'll try this out because they only had this La Cologne, which is extra bold. And I didn't know if it'd be too bold, so I didn't want to get two. So I was like, we'll use this as an opportunity to try something else because I do like stock. I've just never had this one. And then I got more of our chocolate milk Fair Life because I add that into my coffee every morning. It's so good. And then I needed more Greek yogurt and they never have the one that I like, the Chobani one I like. Um, so I got the Oikos and I got some Dan and Lane fit again. Um, and then just honey mustard because I love this with like chicken and stuff. And yeah, that's the haul. Oh, and I got some bread, but yeah, that's the haul. I'm excited though to make something pumpkin tonight and I'm gonna make another little coffee because I didn't drink a ton of coffee because we had like this much left and I didn't want to use it all because I didn't have shake with one some, but now I have more, so now I'm gonna make one, but I'm gonna try this one and we'll see if I like it. Um, so yeah. Okay, today's yogurt bowl is getting topped with these cocoa, it's like cocoa puffs. Peanut butter cocoa or peanut butter. What are they called? Peanut butter cocoa puffs. But the um, Whole Foods version on top. Take some, she put me on. And then also some of this salted creamy peanut butter. It's so freaking I just kind of throw my spoon in there and I kind of drizzle it. And then when I eat this, I always leave this out and the cereal out. And then if I'm like through the bowl and I still have a lot of just yogurt, I add more. That's what I do to make cold brew. I'm excited to try this out. I hope this is good because I like espresso. Like, that's very similar to the Americanos that I typically get. I shake this actually. I don't think I did that. But I'm confused. Is this cold brew or is it? It's cold. It's cold brew, but it says espresso, so I don't understand that. I was just doing like a splash of regular almond milk, just with like kind of more creamer vibe. And that is the vibe. A pack of stevia just because I like my stuff sweet. Obviously. That's good. Mmm. Wait. I really like that. It's like a very bold coffee, but it's not bitter. 
I'm not like that more than my La Colombe. I'm not even gonna lie to you. See, this is what happens. La Colombe slack in. I try something new and I find something I like more. Not that it's La Colombe's fault. It's somebody's fault. Target, but it's so good. It's very, I think it's very like a deep, rich coffee, but it's not bitter. I hate sour, bitter, cold brew and coffee. That's very good. Okay. I'm happy about that. Yay. My yogurt bowl looks so good. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Can you tell I'm like a peanut butter chocolate girl? Mm -hmm. At least based on my breakfast. Okay, you guys, my first pumpkin recipe was a success, I would say. I made like, let me scratch it down, like flourless pumpkin bars. The recipe's on TikTok, I'll link it below. Um, but look at the, it just fell. It's so like thick and gooey, and like a pumpkin bar, it's delicious. I just have eating it. Because I've eaten like half of the thing already, so I started making lunch, because I'm like, I need to eat like real food. I'm also making eggs. Jake's currently in the shower. We're gonna go rollerblade a little bit and then we're gonna go to the gym and lift. Guys, Jake loved my pumpkin bars, didn't you? Yeah, they were good. Yeah. We pretty much ate them all already though. There's maybe like a fourth of it left, maybe. Um, I just made some lunch, so I made eggs, spinach, turkey, mushrooms, all that. Cut with caviar, something quick. I literally go through so much of this, it's insane. But it's amazing. Okay. I'm gonna eat this, and I'll see you on blade when I'm on my, in my blade. <laughs> you guys look at it. Putting these on in my house is my favorite thing, actually. Boom. Imagine I just like slide right into this mirror and shatter it. It's, like, it's so fun, I'm not even gonna lie. This is gonna be our second lesson ever. Okay, guys, we went. Uh, really blending for a little bit not a super long time, but kind of messed around outside Getting better. We're making progress when you say I about wipe out still but like I'm more confident on them than I was yesterday Yeah, um, we're gonna go try out EOS a gym. I have like a week pass right there right there there Um, and Jake's gonna I think get a week pass maybe if they I don't know We're gonna go check that gym out see what we think. Um, and then get a lift in And then we might go on a bike ride tonight again <sighs> We'll see I have a package in the mail room. We have to go get it. The mail room? Mm-hmm, I got an email. All right, we're back from a bike ride. Um, I didn't film at the gym because it was so busy and we ended up signing up at an EOS, which is like a very commercial standard gym um, because they're 24 seven. We can bring a guest for free and it was like $27 or something a month. So we did that for now. And when it it's, doesn't like charge you a cancellation fee if we wanted to cancel after so long, so we'll try it out. But I just like, needed a gym to go to to get lifts in um and this one's like there's a ton of locations in arizona so there's one pretty near um and so we did that and then we came home chilled for a little bit i edited up some stuff and then we went on a little like three mile bike ride just to get out and enjoy the sunset and now we're back we're gonna make dinner at 7 30 and then we have to build a bed frame because we have a three bedroom and we were going to turn that third bedroom into an office or a spare bedroom and we decided on a spare bedroom because honestly Jake and I kind of like working down here or like in our rooms and I just kind of like up and move around like I can't ever just like sit in an office um and like coffee shops and stuff like that so so we got the bed frame and the mattress delivered today and so we're going to put that together later and yeah so we'll have a room three rooms i'm like dang it's a king bed i'm like i should sleep in there mine's a queen oh well but um yeah so we're gonna do that later but we're gonna make dinner first jake are you ready to cook some ground beef oh so you said you could i asked you i asked you if you wanted me to that, 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 i that, literally that, asked that, him that, 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 and he said i'll cook it i said do you want me to cook it or do you want to cook it he said i'll cook it I'm cooking. all right whip it up I set the meat out, it's defroster. And I know it's funny guys, I never used to eat like hamburger or red meat, I just never really did. And since moving here, I've eaten it a lot. I think because Jake likes to eat it and then I realized how good it is. And red meat's good for you, the iron in it, there's lots of nutrients in it and yeah. So, we got some ground beef going. I don't know what we're gonna eat it with, I'll figure that part out, but. Literally dinner so simple you guys, quick and easy. This is organic basmati rice, 90 seconds in the microwave from Target. And then these frozen broccoli packets from Costco. And then Jake made good round beef. So, what one looks better, guys? There's mine. There's Jake. It's the serving size portion. But look at how much, mine just looks so much more put together. Professional, yours just looks oh, like okay. a bunch of cat food. Oh, okay. Stuff from Aldi, you have to get the teriyaki from Aldi. Fork girl, aren't you? Yeah. 
Boom. Mm. Busting. Mm. Good. Mm. You guys, the day has come. I'm going to get my lips done. And I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Um, but I booked that consultation last week on my last vlog. And today it's here. We're doing it. Um, <sighs> I have a feeling I know how this is going to go poorly. Um, but we're going to do it. She's gone. Getting just half a syringe. Oh, yeah. Also, we're watching Taylor on my ring mow the lawn. <laughs> it's so funny. There she is. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. Um, but Jake and I got up this morning, went on a run. Proud of you, Jake. I got him up at 6.30. We went and ran two miles, and then he's driving me to my appointment. It's, it's in Scottsdale. It's at Skin and Talks. I'm going to Christine. Um, I'm really freaking scared just because I'm so bad at needles. I got a lip flip, if you guys saw that vlog back in the winter um, and I handled those needles well but this is different but I'm just doing half a syringe it's called like a mini lip plump I think is what she calls it um, and it looks really good it looks more natural but just like more um, but yeah, I'm making Jake drive me in case I get like super lightheaded and nauseous and whatever um, but I'm really excited just because this is something I've really wanted to do um, and I just I was telling my Instagram story I'm like I'm really in an era of just like trying everything new doing a lot of things out my outside of my comfort zone like we rollerbladed, I went hiking alone, I met a new friend, I went on a gym date. Like I'm doing all these things that I never used to do because I was scared, but I'm just kind of like, screw it. Like, let's just do it and see how it goes. And this is one of those things. This is probably the scaredest I've been though. I'm like kind of like sick to my stomach, but I need to tell myself it's all mental. I'm like, it's just all mental. It's not gonna kill me, it's fine. It's just a needle, it'll be over, done with, and then I'll be happy. Hopefully, I like it. I don't know. You guys, I'm back. I did it. I did it. I didn't vlog in there because honestly, I was like so nervous, but. I think if I go back and get a full syringe, I'll definitely bring you guys. I wanted to first meet her too and not just like show up with like a camera. But Christine was so nice. Um, here's like, they're swollen and they're bruised still. But um, that's to be expected. It honestly didn't hurt that bad, you guys. Like I really thought I was going to be in there like ghost white, like sweating. I was nervous and anxious, but it didn't hurt that bad. Like it was like a little pinch. And it honestly was similar to when I got my lip flip. So if you guys have ever done that, it wasn't very different than that, other than the fact that it was like more pokes, clearly. And then it was it was like the pinch, the needle felt the same. And then she did say though that she uses like a thinner, smaller needle than most people. So maybe that's why. Um, but I don't know, it really wasn't that bad. Like I was like, keep them coming, like I can handle this. But yeah, she said I can't, I probably shouldn't train or do anything like intense, no alcohol, no like sucking up a straw for two weeks to be the hardest part of this. But um I am gonna probably give myself 24 to 48 hours not training because like that just like doing that will just pretty much worsen the swelling and worsen the bruising. She goes, it's not gonna like mess up the lips, but like it could just worsen that. So I'm like, I'll just keep it chill for a while. And then, yeah, but honestly experience was not bad. Like I'll definitely do it again. I might get a full, we'll see, I don't know. I'm gonna see how I like this and how it settles and all that, but. I can't believe I did it. I faced a fear and I'm really glad I did. So, if you guys are debating it, I say try, give it a shot. It does feel weird though. Like, I can, like, I can't really move my mouth right now. And it was really red at the beginning. I got in the car and Jake was cracking up, but I feel like it's starting to look better. But it's definitely starting to bruise really fast. So, I'll keep you all updated as the day goes on and how it settles. Okay, guys, Jake and I are getting really crafty in the kitchen. He's just going ham with the peaches and the cherries. But my grandma, if you guys, so, oh, I didn't vlog, I don't think. But if you follow me on Instagram, my grandma made this like pea. She makes this like rice. It's like coconut rice. It's unreal. It's like a breakfast casserole, and she puts peaches and cherries in it. So those are left over from when she made it. But I'm gonna make like a healthy version of it. Um, I just texted her for the recipe, so I'll probably make that tonight, maybe or tomorrow. Probably tonight if I can. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna edit this vlog and get it up because it's Wednesday. You guys are just gonna see this tomorrow. But um. This has just been like a mod podge of like my week and I think that might be how some of my vlogs are. Um, if you guys like that, let me know in the comments. If you like kind of like the sporadic, if you like more of like just one day or if you like little bits from like a couple days. Also, we're getting Jake on the podcast. I'm kind of excited, I think this will be fun. So fun! Um, Cause he's leaving. This He's going back for the Iowa State game. So he's gonna be gone, that'll be kind of weird. So we're gonna record it now for Monday's episode. Okay guys, Jake and I are gonna go buy mics for my camera so we can do mic'd up videos. Um, I've been wanting to get these for like years and I never have, but then I used them with Taylor's brother right before I moved and I filmed. 
when I filmed that like grocery store oh. video. If you saw that vlog. Um, and I like loved the way it like turned out and it just looks so much better. Um, I think so. It just turned out so much better. Yes. Are they not in that drawer? In the bowl? We found just like the two. We found two, like two, just a set of two, which I'm happy about because it's cheaper than three. But oh my god, these would be so fun. We just recorded our podcast and housed some chips and guac and salsa. That's like our literally favorite thing ever, oh, I think. It's so good. It's so good. We eat a lot of it. Um, and now it's six. No wonder we were hungry. That was like dinner practically. I was like, I, I was like really hungry. Uh -huh. Anyway. Should we like do something? Oh, our mics are probably charged. We can film something with the mics. Let's get them on. Okay, guys, we're back home. It's it's nine o'clock. Actually, we we've been back. I that was like the last clip you just saw was like the first round to Best Buy. We ended up having to go back because I'm dumb and I bought the one mic. I didn't realize like there's. The whole setup kind of entails, the whole setup is like two mics and then this middle like, this is like the transmitter and these are the receivers. And so I thought it was like two mics, but actually we only got one mic the first time so we had to go back and return it. And then um, we ended up going to Lululemon because I went live while Jake was making pancakes because we we're going to go on a bike ride, like a chill one. Um, and then we went live and this girl was like, oh my god, I feel like you'd love this Lululemon sweatshirt. And then I was like, oh my god, we looked it up. It's men's, it's so cute. And so then I, Jake and I both loved it. And so we went to Hulu and bought it and like split it. So we'll share it. So that was our night, I didn't vlog it. Cause I wasn't gonna throw that part in the vlog. But then I realized I just, the last thing I showed you guys was Best Buy. So that was the night. Update on the lips, they're quite bruised, but they're feeling fine. Um, I'm exhausted, I'm so tired. So I'm gonna finish this video um, and get to bed because we're gonna get up at six and instead of running tomorrow uh, Because I just feel like that's too intense for the lips to handle um, Jake and I are just gonna go on like a long chill bike ride. I think and then and go from there, but yeah, like our days are just so long. I feel like so tired I just want to go I'm gonna go sleep at our guest bed. Did I show you guys that? Oh my gosh Okay, let me just I'm just gonna take you guys as much as I don't want to walk away upstairs right now, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I want to show you guys our guest bed and also um, the sweatshirt that we got. Because I, oh my god, I also found these shorts from Lulu on sale. They were $39 and they're gonna be so perfect for running. They're adorable. So here, we turned our third bedroom into a guest bed for like when my parents come or when we have friends come and stay. It's, I mean, it's very bare so far, but the bed is a king. Literally a king. It's huge and it's so comfortable. So I'm sleeping in here tonight just because the bed is so cozy. Um, but then haul from Lulu, this stuff is good. This stuff is really, really good. Like, I'm so spending money. This is getting out of hand. This is the sweatshirt. It's literally just like a plain sweatshirt, but it literally looks so cozy. This is the hoodie. I'm easily persuaded if you can't tell. It's the um, Steady State hoodie and this color, does it say the color? Naughty. Um, it's like a cream off-white tan beige color um but then the shorts on the sale rack they're sale rack i don't know if it's a thing at lulu correct me if i'm wrong if you work at lulu and you know but like they were stacking up the sale rack like i feel like they replenish it at night and we went like 30 minutes before it closed so many things were on that freaking sale rack but look at these shorts look how cute they're like a cute little meshy material and then they have like the shorts on the inside like spandex oh <gasps> obsessed and then the back is like the little like v kind of back so cute they are the nula and mesh hr yoga short three and a half inch um and this color is just adorable so i'm gonna run in the or maybe i'll bike in those tomorrow i don't know or maybe i'll save them i have a i have a hiking date on friday morning so maybe i could take these off but i'm on my probably not actually <laughs> i have to wear black shorts i'll probably wear these on that so maybe I will bike in these tomorrow, but look up to you. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.